Introducing first the fighter to my left, fighting out of the B2 Digital blue corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He represents Bates MMA. Give it up for Ahmad Bates! And his opponent to my right, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, seven inches tall and weighed in at 125 pounds. Representing immortal martial arts, the flying Hawaiian, Joshua Pereira! You know, joining us obviously is Chris Lytle. Chris, uh, Ahmad Bates, does he look incredibly calm for somebody just about to have his first fight? Uh, absolutely. I, I was amazed at how calm both guys were. Uh, I mean, not many fights between the two of them, and they're just calm, Another cool, day collective. In the calm, yeah. cool, collective. Yeah, that's not the way you, people are so usually amped up and jumping around. Yeah, now they're focused. Now they're but, I mean, you can just tell even by watching this fight, it's a little different from last. I look like a good cup shot to me. You know, ja uh, Ahmad Bates had a really good right hand when uh, Joshua Pereira closed the distance. And we're going to see what kind of Oh, shoot good. Him. Got a guillotine attempt right there, but it's hard with a much taller person. When we talked about that earlier, he's got that championship height. He seems to be defending it well. Yeah, Ahmad's he's defending he's the uh, guillotine well, and, you know, he's, 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 got, he's got Joshua in his corner, so he should be able to and Joshua be still good distance to, to, you know, listening to advice from his corner. Yeah, still trying to land those knees in there. you got to respect that. Chris, does it look like he has anything on the guillotine there? Uh, it just looks like from the height thing, uh, it's going to be difficult to get it at that angle. He's going to have to force him down a little bit more before he can really make that that effective. And it looks like I can't really see from there. For a second, he had the arm in. I think he's... Yeah, and if you're Joshua Pereira, you've got to be careful about not burning out your arms right now. 100%. That's a key mistake a lot of people make. They try too hard for a submission. That's not there. Yeah. It's not there. And then, then you know, that's great for round one. Rounds two and three are a little difficult when you have no strength. And, you know, Josh got the takedown. And he was able to use that, that guillotine choke as a takedown is what he was able to do. We're gonna see what kind of ground and pound Joshua Pereira has. Yeah, now you know, on bottom, I would like to see he, 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 he's kind of holding closed guard a little bit, and that's fine if you're trying to earn a stand up that way, but you really can't get out unless you open that guard up. And you're burning the time up too. You know, you're, you're, you're taking time off, off the clock, hoping a referee's gonna stand you up, and you're losing uh, position points in terms of yeah. uh, the judge's eyes. I mean, you know, you have to open that guard up even if you want to go for a submission or you want to go for a sweep. Uh, Mod looks like he might be, ooh, we went the wrong way on, a, on an armbar. Oh, some good, good ground and pound right there by the flying Hawaiian. You know, if you listen to uh, Joshua Pereira's corner, they're giving him excellent corner advice. Exactly. Tell him to take his time, breathe, relax. You're winning the round. Exactly. You, you, know, don't, you th don't have to do anything crazy now. The, I mean, the other, it's up to your opponent right now because you're winning the fight. A little choke attempt right here. Yeah, I think he's got a, oof. a nice little slam. I mean, that more than anything, just imposing your will, kind of demoralizing your, your opponent right there. Josh is getting some real good angles on this ground and pound. And, you know, coming into the next round, Ahmad is going to have to figure out um, how to avoid uh, this position. Couldn't agree more. He, 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 he ate a lot of clean punches. There's a way we can go in there, you can deflect him, you can make to where you're not taking a, a, a shot right to the face. A lot of those are right to the head. And, um, you know, um, Ahmad Bates right now is refusing to stool. He's standing up in between rounds. It's going to be interesting to see how he kind of adjusts. It uh, looks like neither one of these guys are going, oh, I, we saw this technique used before, just sit on my knee. <laughs> we saw, remember we saw it over in You I, know, I, it's, we're friends, man. I mean, it, <laughs> I, I get it when you don't have a stool, but we have stools provided for them. Yeah, I'm not sure. We do always provide stool, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ahmad Bates is going to, he's going to have to figure out how to not to get taken down. And you know what? Um, Joshua Pereira's takedown 
was more of like an upper body throw, which kind of you trip it to his background, well, his he, judo. But yeah. it, it wasn't something that was so dominant that you. Well, and, and it wasn't something really, it really initiated. It was a guillotine attempt that he held for about a minute, and then he was able to force him down with that. So it, more of a, a throw from that position, like you said. You know, Ahmad's kind of you know, taking deep breaths where Joshua is. Still uh, looks calm, cool, collective, yeah. like he didn't even have a fight there. Still on the balls of his feet, too. Bouncing a little Muay Thai style. So let's see. Ahmad got off the first punch, the first round. Let's see if he can do that again in the second round. Wow. Pereira wants right. this on the ground. He wants to be on top. Of course he does. I mean, if you paid attention to the first round, you're in his corner. You better be telling him the same thing. Get on top. <laughs> And beat this guy up. Yeah, you know, in, in, in like a, a fight prior to this, Ahmad is uh, doing this uh, as a bucket list prior to enlisting in the army. So he, nice. he plans on serving the country, which you gotta like that. I've got an enormous amount of respect for. Here, here, the advice right there given to Ahmad is that you got to push off and get back to your feet. And Joshua uh, Pereira is now in full mount with two minutes and ten seconds left uh, in the round. That's an eternity at this point. So you know, um, you know, Kelly, if I'm Ahmad, I think I'm going to put myself in a worse position For in this. order to get out of this. Well, it's I mean, a risk, but you got to do something. I mean, yeah. but you know what? To be honest with you, at this point, you know, Pere Josh is not leaning up to throw strikes. You don't really, I mean, at this point, you, I think you could trap an arm, try and trap a leg, and try and oop up over and roll until, he's, until he sits up and starts throwing heavy strikes. That's when things change. Okay. I, I, is Josh Pereira? Oh. oh, wow. Going right back for that guillotine position, it looks like. Oh, nice knee. Let's see by Joshua Pereira. Now, if I'm a mod Bates, I'm trying to create a little bit of distance, even if it means you know almost like pushing off of your opponent. This is, oh, Back gee, just a mount. nice little trip he did and got him right in that mount position. Hard punches now. Yeah. So wow. Kelly, as you were saying, putting yourself in a worse position in order. Yeah, to you have to at this point. Now would be the time. Yeah, about do that. three seconds, and they're going to stop. Give up this. your back and just try to go out the back door. Right. That's it. And that's that, uh, the training right there that they do over at the Immortal Gym right there. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, that, they're just hey, Look at the show sportsmanship. And, and you know what? I mean, uh, Joshua Pereira, in between round first and second round, he, he helped uh, Ahmad Bates up too. I Speaks mean, volumes of the type of character that Joshua P uh, Pereira is bringing sure, into this sure. That's all the way to Hawaii, Chris. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Don't get we that we need awesome. your weather. We yeah. need your weather. That's, that's my message yeah. to his family. Bring it over. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this fight at 1 minute and 51 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO, the flying Hawaiian, Joshua Pereira. Hey, Red Corner's cleaning up tonight. Well, and, and, and you know, right there, a lot of people might be, that fight might be stopped early. Some people might be saying, "I'm not," but you got to understand this is this is amateur fights, and these guys haven't had a lot of fights. You don't let it go past the point it should. You know, now if you're talking professional or higher level professional, a little bit different. But here, you want to make sure fighters' safety, especially new guys, is paramount. At yeah, the beginning of this event, we're starting slow. You know, yeah, we got a whole bunch of you know greener, newer guys, and you know we build up to more experience. Exactly.